So, first ever edition of MTTE Reacts. Man's never ever, ever done no reaction videos before, but this is going to be quite interesting still. It's going to be funny still. Um, <laughs> today, we're reacting to five British people versus one fake British person. So, it's going to be interesting to see if we can even guess them as well. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't get it, you'll get it as it goes along still. Yeah, I heard the way you are saying it before, isn't it? Oh. Why am I nervous? Is anyone else nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous too. <laughs> I'm actually a dual citizen, uh, US and UK. I um, grew up in England, in London, and I moved to America when I was 12. So you'll hear I have a bit of a like funky accent. I'm not a dual citizen, I'm a citizen of the UK, but I also moved when I was 12. And oh, cool. my accent, for the most part, I think I still sound kind of British. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm a citizen of the UK. Oh, I spent about four years in India, so I got a bit of that as well. And I moved to the US two years ago for UCLA, so I'm a student right now. I'm also a citizen of the UK. I moved to the US two months ago. Um, I live in Canada. Definitely not, definitely. I hate the cold. Um, <laughs> I've lived here for 11 years. I'm from Liverpool. Um, um, yeah. Cap. <laughs> He's wearing a cap as well. He ain't got no scouse accent. Cat. Scouse? Cat. Dual citizen. Um, I moved here when I was 12. Uh, well, I got my dual citizenship when I was 12. You might be the fake still. 12. I'm suspicious. <laughs> got eyes on you. <laughs> yeah. It's between those two with the caps. I think straight off the bat, yeah, it's either Donnie in the blue jacket, or Look at what you're wearing, bro. He, that's American, bro. Yeah. Oversized coat, fam. It is American swag still. I, I think it's either Donnie in the blue jacket or Donnie in the middle with the green trousers, the boot cuffs. I think so. Yeah. One I, of them two. I, I think it's out of the two with the caps. You think that one of them are capping? One of them are capping. All right, cool. Well, you know the first round, obviously, they've got to vote someone out. Oh, so? Yeah. Who do you think they're going to vote out first? I think they're going to vote out the black girl. Mm, nah, I, her accent sounded solid, to be fair. Like, her, her accent sounded very believable. I reckon they're probably going to go for the Scouse guy. You're from London, right? But let's see. Yeah, London. London. Yeah, yeah. Leicester. Liverpool. Liverpool. Where are you from? London. Oh, London. I'm from Manchester. What part um, of London? Peckham. No, Ooh. Okay, I'm from Norwood. Yeah. All right, so I'm not going to lie. He answered that very quickly, so he's kind of thrown a spanner in the works because I didn't yeah, expect he, him to he, just... He might, he might have done his homework, bro. Mm, he might have, but still, though. Oh, Everyone knows in London... Every, what, well, Peckham Bricky? You get it, fam. Everyone mm. knows most places in, Pe in London is Peckham and Bricky, fam. That's Don't true. Know. That's true. West. West, I yeah. think. I'm from Leicester and Wigston. Oh, okay, nice. Where in Liverpool? I studied there. Um, I, was, I was born in uh, West Derby. Mm. Wigston, that's right near uh, Oldby. Yes. Market Harbour. Market Harbour. Sounds familiar. Yeah, the other ones are man from the end, I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> it's definitely him, bro. You're, doing, you're trying too hard. You're trying way too hard. And then go back to the UK, finish up my school there. And How long in. were you in Leicester for? Uh, from zero to 14. Was I think he's the fake. The dud in the I green child is bad. I have automatically known where Market Harbour is. I'm from Manchester and I know where Market Harbour is. It's a tiny little town. I don't know a lot about English geography because I was so in my own world. And yeah, my parents would take me around everywhere. So it, his story was convincing to me because that's similar to my story. What were you guys' first impressions of America? Really Big. overwhelmed. <laughs> Big, right? Yeah, it's like, like oh huge my God. portions with their food. Like, their medium-sized pizza is our large size. <laughs> So that's what she said. <laughs> the system. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Well, I've been here for two months and I'm still trying to get used to Fahrenheit and it's really stressing yeah. me out. The, the temperature is one. <laughs> Things like that, you know. And like, I work off a 24 hour clock. So, yeah, <laughs> why is it whenever he talks, they just, everything just pauses, fam? Bro, it's too <laughs> sus, man. <laughs> and he's but talking. Then... <laughs> no, go on, I'm not gonna sleep on the blonde chick. I'm not gonna sleep on her because she also might be fake as well. But only one can be fake, so. True. 
I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, I think tipping culture is pretty bad. Oh, Everything is. Culture. I love tipping, though. I hate like, tipping, though. We could stay in this conversation for ages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of questions, like, people assume because you're British, you like something. Yeah, yeah. So when One Direction was big, they're like, you're British, you like One Direction. I was yeah, like, no, I no. have heard maybe two of their songs. Okay. Or like Harry Potter, Hot Take. I haven't seen all of the movies. I've only seen, like, two. You're joking. I'm <laughs> sorry, I know. I ain't, see, I ain't seen one. Thing and I haven't I've seen well, like two. Like talk about tea or what? Yeah, and right. I wasn't allowed to watch Harry Potter when I was younger. Hmm? I wasn't allowed to watch Harry Potter when I was younger. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the judge. <laughs> My parents were like, that's witchcraft. How funny that is. Man said you couldn't watch Harry Potter because of judge. That is funny. That is witchcraft. That is funny. We are Christians. We don't believe in that magic. His story at first kind of seemed like he was just making something up. You're the worst British accent I've heard ever. I'm, I'm so convinced to. Because he didn't know his geography. Oh. I, I was just shocked. I was a bit shocked. Sir, 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 sir. Do you know how many people in the UK don't know their geography? I'm not very great with geography. Uh, that's, this is what he's. These two bait, fam. Either. That's what I was saying. These two bait. Like, in each case, I kind of know a lot of stuff. Did you know what they were saying about where those places were? Which yeah. I was mentioning. Yeah, I've been there when I was in uni. Okay. No chat shit stuff. Exactly. I don't know. Damn, what are you talking about, bro? But I, I, I would like to say I have a good level of geography. Speak for yourself, but you very well. But I was wondering when they're going to get Michael out. That was surprising. Yeah, he sounded very British. <laughs> I think it's a joke. I think everyone's British. <laughs> I feel like when, when I meet people, they always say, oh, you're from London. They automatically like, yeah, yeah, assume yeah. everyone's from London. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm from Liverpool. They're yeah. like, oh, the Beatles. And they mentioned the Beatles, but <laughs> the UK is so- He's got a little, a little, you know that Scouse thing, the way that they roll their sentences a bit. That I can hear it a little bit. I can. I can't hear it. Stop. it. No. Yeah, fair enough. So big, like they just think it's just Which London. It's funny because I feel like a fake when I say I'm from London because it's like, oh, of course you're from London. I spoke to someone that thought London was the country. England is my city. One time oh. someone asked me, are you from England or... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because Americans don't know geography <laughs> at all. I was oh, Americans so geography. Yeah, oh, my days. Declining. <laughs> We'll do that next time. But anything about anywhere anymore. For me, since I moved when I was 12, which is uh, seventh grade here in the States. She mentioned um, seventh grade, and usually we say year seven or year eight or year nine, and it just threw me off. The biggest change I noticed was how students address their teachers. Like, it's very informal, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas I think growing up in England, like, you would never question your teacher, you know? Or, like, I feel like the parents have that kind of what school did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, that sounded mad for gazy, bro. You wear uniforms. She, she, she knows she fucked up still. Damn really? it. <laughs> seventh grade. <laughs> That's a seventh grade. And also, like, most schools, especially inner city ones that you go to, they're always questioning the teachers. What are you talking about? Well, do you know how many people chat back to their teachers, fam? Summer uniform yeah. and a PE uniform that changes based on. But, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where did she say she was from again? In the UK? She did say London, didn't it? Uh, I don't remember. Because mm. if it wasn't, if if she says not London, then maybe. Yeah, I know what you mean. Based on where she went to school. Yeah. But still, though. Sydenham High. Shout out. Although, thinking yeah. about it, like, I feel like I'm so glad that we had a. Sydenham High School. Yeah. The poor fashion choices I made at 13. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. Lucian. Dressed like that. No, genuinely. Lucian. But it's, it's local. She says she's from Upper Norwood, isn't it? That's, Southeast. That's like Gypsy Hill, isn't it? Yeah, man. Quieter than the rest of the group. She got grabbed, man. That went to the scout suit, though. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so she was British. Grade seven. There are words that I say in the American way now. Raise your hand if you think the mole is... I'm telling you, he is the American, bro. Who, the scout suit? No, 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 no. I don't think it's the scout suit like the that. Anyway. But, yeah. The, the lights can Over, oversized jacket. Do you guys still think the mole's in the box right now? 100%. Who? Who well, do you think I it have is? No <laughs> well, I have no who, do you, who do you think it is? Well, we can't tell. But he might be as well, though. The I don't green, green, green trousers. Um, I don't know, bro. He's suspect. Uh, accent glitches. I'm just a really suspicious person, generally. Okay. <laughs> if you had to pick one item from a supermarket, what was it like your favourite item from that store? So, chocolate fingers. 
do yeah, love fiddlers really though. I used to bang them when I was younger. Yes. They're always the best. I ironically. Wait, what, wait, what do you say? Hey, this is a really random thing to say about the meal, the Tesco meal. Oh deal. my god, yes. They're always the best. I, ironically, there were these, it came in a yellow package. It was like an American pancake. It was so good, you put it in the toaster. And I put it in the yeah. toaster all the time. Hmm? It was just a generic, I, I think no, it no, might no, have no, been. I don't know that one. <laughs> but That's mad yeah. sauce still, because what are you talking about? The prawn cocktail sandwich, <gasps> definitely. Oh, no, I like this crisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're the, both the, sauce. Prawn cocktail crisps. Yeah, but not the sandwich. Yeah, the sandwich no? is dead still. Cut cheesy Watson. No, I don't think f*** with Watson. No? <laughs> no. I mean, what about discos? Watson's our best. Eh? Discos? What's a discos? What the hell is that? Sorry, I have to pause you. You see them type of crisps? That's definitely for the um the scousers. Like, the oh, okay. Yeah, mm. Because down south, man's not saying, yeah, let me get a discos. What no the hell is that? I've never heard of a disco I've in my life. I've seen them, <laughs> but I've never seen anyone buy them, and I've also never seen them in a shop. But I'd rather, I'd rather buy squares. Yeah, but that, I'd rather that, would, buy that squares. would be our equivalent. But how many people okay, do cool. you know go to the shop to buy squares? Or buy no. the packets of crisps that have squares in it? No one cares about those crisps, blood. They have like a bunch of oh. Oh. Do you know what Chris I used to bang? They're not here at all. Sp Space Raiders and Transformers. Yeah, but that's coming. We already do Oh, right, cool. <laughs> okay, well, he can't be British. <laughs> My initial suspicions. I think it sounds like he's from Sweden or something, fam. Him? Yeah, fam. Like no, from not local. even the act. I think also, too, you're yeah. the only one who didn't raise your hand. In the I really thought that ended up because I thought you guys were good. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, these are my fellow Brits right and here. And then you said I thought you all were British. There were just some things. No one has like, that much British camaraderie. I'm not saying it is you. Okay. I'm just saying out of everyone who it could have been in my mind, okay. it was closer to being you. I'd rather not say. So now you look suspicious. <laughs> nah. I don't trust anyone. You could all be lying to me. <laughs> if it's any, I mean, I don't know if this is cheap. It's hard though. They all are doing things that just making me. They all sound British, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, but they're also doing things that make me question them. Ooh. Ooh. He didn't know what this called. He called it chips. <laughs> called it chips. Yeah, Disco yeah, chips. Do you know what? I think possibly. Oh, call it chips. No, I promise you, if you yeah, are British, the other, the other nah. chick called called them um, year seven, seventh grade as well, and she was British. I heard that. So is it just because where they are now, that's how they say certain things? Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I feel like you would be able to adapt, man. You're around British people, so you should be able to adapt. Hmm. Because nah, we'll me, I'm never ever, ever calling crisps chips. No, of course not. But you haven't also lived in America for a prolonged time, a prolonged period of time. So, first, the longest, oh, yeah, no. yeah, just yeah. Just no, the same snack as you does not mean that their nationality should be questioned. If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. But Oh, God. So I'd have to raise my hand because uh, I think it's the the with the oversized jacket. Mm hmm. I'm really like. <sighs> I mean, I guess. Okay, continue. Okay, so you got your dual citizenship when you were 12. Did you move with your family and where did you move to? I got sponsored by my auntie. Sponsored? Yeah, we got sponsored from when we were really young, so pretty much when we were born. By Do you know what it is? It's just the way even, he even, talks. Even look at his name, fam. This is bro, it's American, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the way he talks is just such a... I don't know why he's talking like that. Like, it's weird, bruv. And that, back to the, the, talking about the knowledge of places and that, I feel like it might just be through music that he knows that stuff. Like, maybe... Or, he's, he, or he might just be a mad researcher, fam. Like, just looks up things on the internet. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It came through. That was a waiting list back then. So wow. it, we came through when we were 12. When we were kids, we used to come every year. My mum wanted us to move, you know, or have the- True, that was at me. Order ...to be able to go back and forth, you know. I've been here for 11 years. I came in 2012, and I originally came over to see my sister. She lives in North Carolina. She has her own little deli, so I was helping her out. And then in 2014, I moved to LA, and I've been here since. Yeah. Your turn. Okay, I yeah. know I, you guys are like ganging up on me. No, so no, no. my dad works at an IT company, mm -hmm. and so they asked if he could be the manager in LA, and we all moved, and we 
been here for 12 years. Okay. Went to school here. You said you go to UCLA, yeah? I go to UCLA. I'm studying linguistic anthropology, minoring in French. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> linguistic anthropology. Linguist yeah. Do you know what the hell was that? <laughs> the teams in the Premier League. Well, okay. I never got into there? football okay. really when I was there. I only support. That's not fair for her. Friends. Which ones? What team? So, che obviously Chelsea, mm -hmm. Arsenal, Man U were like the main ones. Mm -hmm. I don't watch Okay, that's still a good it's basic Chelsea. knowledge though. Um, if the game's on, if the World Cup's on, obviously watch it. England all the way. But mm -hmm. in general, I don't really watch too much at football, but if you grow up in England... You'll, you'll know about the Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. Gosh, this is hard. Yeah, this is hard. I'm rattled. I'm still going for Rocco though. He's sus. Mm. I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> she black. <laughs> They'd made a pact, <laughs> and I was just the only one not in that pact. Do you feel confident in your choice? I do. Definitely. You're not the mole, are you? <laughs> no. Okay, good. He's the mole, If the lights man. turn green, that means that you have voted the mole out, and you both win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box. Yeah, you're rattled as well. It's gonna be red. Hold on. But it's funny because we said, you said the white guy, I said the black you, innit? I said both of them, to be fair. Right, I've, cool. I, I, out of one of the two of them. Two. Yeah, but you got to pick one, though. Oh, then I'll sway more to the oversized jacket. All right, the cool. <laughs> if you did, you did a good job. No, I'm coming from. <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. Three, two, one. Red. Oh, was green. Green. So they got out the mole. So who was the mole? The blonde, the blonde girl. Themselves in three. I think it's green trousers. Five. Yes. Oh, no way. Way. No, I did not think it they was They got him man. out ASAP. Then. I did not <laughs> think it was my man. His accent was you good. Contagious and you continued to play. <laughs> I told you it's all about the De Niro's, yo. I, 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 was <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the map, but I didn't recognize uh, all the places. And I could always do somewhat of a British accent, uh, or at least I thought I could. And then I just Googled, like, where's the most amount of brown people from the <laughs> English? Like, nice no. uh, Your accent was really good. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I had some, somewhat of a plan, but not knowing geography is pretty American, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Flabbergasted. No, nah, but mm, maybe, maybe, though, if you're from Leicester, then you probably must know where that place is that my man said then. I guess. It's like, it's like, it's like us being from London and they say, oh, do you know where the Big Ben is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100, 100. Yeah, do you get it? Yeah, I can't lie. We were both wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was mad. And that's, um, see how mad it is that you can just be convinced so quickly, bruv. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. All right. Well, on that note, first reaction vid done. Catch on the rebound. We'll be wow. back again. <laughs>